Hi, this is Lee from the Upper Darby Township Library. Come to you today again to read some more poetry for uh, National Poetry Month this April. Um, and today I'm gonna share with you a poem by the Victorian poet Gerard Manley Hopkins. Um, Hopkins lived from the mid to late 1800s. Um, I have not read a ton of his work, but I read some of it in college and really loved it and thought it was beautiful. Um, so I'm going to read to you a poem that was written in 1877 called The Wind Hover. Um, it was published most recently in um, a volume called Gerard Manley Hopkins Poems and Prose, published by Penguin Classics in 1985. Um, again, it's called The Wind Hover, and it's inscribed to Christ our Lord, and here it goes. I caught this morning, morning's minion, kingdom of daylight's dolphin, dapple dawn drawn falcon, in his riding of the rolling level underneath him, steady air and striding high there. How he rung upon the rein of a wimpling wing in his ecstasy, then off, off forth on swing, as a skate's heel sweeps smooth on a bow bend, the hurl and gliding rebuffed the big wind. My heart in hiding stirred for a bird, the achieve of, the mastery of the thing. Brute beauty and valor and act, oh, air, pride, plume, here, buckle, and the fire that breaks from thee then, a billion times told lovelier, more dangerous, oh, my chevalier. No wonder of it, sheer plod makes plow down cillian, shine, and blue bleak embers, ah, my dear, fall, gall themselves, and gash gold vermilion. Thanks for listening. Um, again, I think that poem is so beautiful um, and just so fun to read and um, fun, to, fun to listen to, I hope. Um, just the joy um, and the rapture of the words. Um, again, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with the handle UDLibs. That's U-D-L-I-B-S. Um, please stick with us this April. We're going to be doing a lot of poetry and related activities. Um, we hope you enjoy them. Please let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of this poem. Uh, if you'd like to hear more Victorian poetry, happy to do that. Um, something entirely different, happy to do that too. Um, I hope you're enjoying your National Poetry Month and we'll see you again soon. Thanks again.